Yo, what is up, all you epic gaming? No, I'm just kidding. What is up, guys? If you guys are new to the channel, open around for a while. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm gonna be showing you guys some guides on how to do this strike and get the best mind bandages ambition in less than 11 minutes each time. So, if you guys do enjoy, leave a like, don't forget to subscribe. So, yeah, I'm gonna be showing you guys what I use and you know, some steps and stuff on how to get past this. All right, first off, from what I was using. I was using Dawn Blade Bottom Tree because that's most helpful. After you get kills, you get your suit back after every kill, but it does run out after a bit, so I suggest using it at the end or during the second phase of the room. Next up, I was using Mountain Top Pulse Rifle Arc. This was Arc Synergy, by the way, guys, I forgot to mention that, and I was using Word Line Zero. Now, for my armor pieces, I was using Sun Braces. So basically, what this does, after you get a melee kill, you get like a lot of grenades, you can throw like 5 grenades in a couple seconds You get a grenade back instantly, so I was just putting on uh, discipline for the grenade on the gauntlets to make it way easier So you can grenade even faster So yeah Now in the beginning of the mission, you want to run straight past easy. all the ads in your way So you don't have to deal with anything And once you get to the second room, this is what you're going to do when we, One of you guys is going to step onto the plate and your other two teammates are going to go left and right which makes it super easy because we clear all the ads when the plate goes up and then the plate comes down. So basically what my teammates did here as I was killing the ads on the side, they were starting to run up because they were in the room at the time, so make sure you don't get caught laughing like how my teammates did. Basically one of my titan's friends popped a bubble right onto the head of the walker and my other friend shot the legs and once you do that, you're kind of going to pop the bubble and you're all going to go inside and start spamming your shotguns. I didn't have a shotgun on because I was doing mount on and stuff. So yeah, and that kills the walker basically instantly and then you just want to run into the next room. So I'll see you guys in there. Alright, now here I was the Dawn Blade, and whoever's the Dawn Blade on our team wants to pop this super and get rid of all the ads, since it is pretty hard to do this while the ads are in the room. So yeah, make sure you do that, whoever the Dawn Blade is, for the Dawn Blade, good luck and stuff. Uh, Cause it was kind of annoying to me. I couldn't kill all of them sadly, but I killed most of them. So yeah. Now in this part, you want to do one plate at a time because that makes the most easiest. But for some reason, we're doing both plates at a time because we actually had an idea. Now you only want to do this if you're a titan or if you have a titan on your team. So while the vengeful hand is spawning in, you know you want to kill some ads. The titan wants to run up and you know place your bubble on to the vengeful hand. In this way, he's trapped inside the bubble and you have weapons of light. Make sure you're using a sword for this. If you don't have a sword on, it's going to be way harder. So you want to just all spam your sword to them and basically kill them in an instant. So yeah, and then you just want to go on to the next room, so I'll see you there. Once you get over to the next room, you know, you're obviously going to do the damage to the boss as how you normally do it. And once he goes into immune mode, just kill all the ads on the side. And that basically makes it way easier. You know, use your, use your grenades, warlocks, use your whatever bubble, whatever you want. Use supers, it makes it easier for you. But I suggest save your supers for every single wave of the mobs. Because that makes it so much easier to kill them. Now when the mobs appear, whoever has the best super, obviously you'll pop yours. I popped mine in this episode, or whatever you want to call it, I popped mine in the strike, because mine's the most useful here. Make sure you don't pop it too early, and also don't waste yours like how I did, <laughs> and focus on how to help your teammates and stuff, because I totally met, let them get past. So yeah.
once again, you know, once that second wave's ad's coming in. So you want to pop your supers, you know, whoever has the best super here, my Sentinel friend popped his Sentinel for some reason. I don't know why he popped in attack mode. Be sure to save it for the boss, so don't get you slacking. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm going to just let the rest of the thing play out. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If it did help you anyway, so before, make sure you leave a like and help me subscribe. Turn on notice, by the way. And, uh, yeah, good luck with your RNG. I got pretty good on mine. I'll pop it up on the video right now. Now, as you can see on mine, I got Quick Draw, Acquire's Rounds, Rifle Barrel, Range Masterwork, and Threat Detector, which is not so good. The Threat Detector is probably the worst one there, but everything else is pretty good. So, hope you guys get a good roll on yours, and uh, happy farming. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.